This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this Tacoma. It is a 2018 Toyota Tacoma double cab. Uh, it has 59,210 miles, a 3.5 liter V6, 4x4. It's got the TRD off-road suspension package. Um, beautiful truck. It was a uh, theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Denver. And we brought it here and it's outstanding. Uh, beautiful truck had a cracked windshield we had to replace the windshield and then we had to take it to Toyota to get the windshield calibrated for the uh, blind spot and the uh, lane departure stuff it's all tied into the thing um, while we were there we got the uh, vehicle history for it uh, everything's in the ad uh, we'll show you the auto check which is the vehicle history on it we'll show you uh, comps from car gurus um, from uh, uh, Mannheim market report what dealers are paying for this vehicle at auction. Um, everything that we have, you will know, okay? Uh, no secrets here. Uh, this truck stands out easily. Don't really need to puff the goods here, do you? It's, it's exactly what it is. A Toyota, Toyota Tacoma double cab 4x4 off-road. And it's nice, nice truck. Um, Anyway, my job is to find out what's wrong with it and show you what's wrong with it, not necessarily what's right. But I can tell you that there's not a whole lot wrong here. But if I see something cosmetically, I will let you know. And I really don't see anything. Got a nice spare still. Got the plugs. Outlet there. Got all the stuff here. Got bed mat it's a nice truck mm -mm -mm. I would like to own this personally but I can't fall in love with cars because then I end up owning a lot of cars right so there you go all right let me uh, hop in here you got two remotes not just one there's another remote so don't worry there's two all right message there 59,222 is the current mileage on the car okay pull the window down here a little bit got the AC going going to the hood real quick I love doing videos on vehicles like this because it's pretty simple <laughs> they're just perfect love them anyway there's your basic uh, Toyota motor that no matter how stupid you are, you can't break, which is amazing because I've had lots of friends who've had these vehicles and it's amazing that they last outlast my friends and their poor behavior with cars. But these are great, really great cars. So there you go. All right, there's your window up and down on the passenger front window. In the glove box, we have manuals. What do we got here? Some sort of a plug for something going on here. I guess you'll have to read that. Let's see. That there. All right. Here's some information. Lots of information. There's. I just did this. 8122 about 10 minutes ago. Here's Car Gurus. Uh, a fair price vehicle at 38991 with 59,258 miles. Here's another one. This is considered a good deal, probably because it's a West Coast vehicle with the same miles. Good deal, 38,991. Again, that's today. 58,972. About 300 miles less than this one. Let's see, what else we got here? All right. Then we've got this one, considered a great deal in California for 35,5 basically with how many miles? 59014. Okay, so you got fair, good, and great. Then I did this Mannheim Market Report 721 of 22. Put in the VIN, it spits out 59,205 miles. 353 is what a dealer would pay for this at auction, their price, not including what they're going to sell it for. Okay, here is the, uh, the uh, deal for the uh, calibrating the windshield. There's your VIN. 229 for that hour and a half they don't warranty that because you broke the windshield right 
Here's the uh, actual glass. Cost of the glass was expensive, 300 bucks. Um, also in here is uh, a equipment list that I asked them for. So you'll be able to look that link up in the equipment. And then this is the service history, okay? From birth to today, okay? All that stuff is there. 17, There's it goes up this way. Bum, bum, bum. Recall stuff. Oh, we do have a recall that I've got to bring it to tomorrow morning for, I guess that the uh, cargo light in, in the bed, on the cab, top of the cab in the bed, um, has some sort of a leakage issue that they have to fix. So it's going for that. Uh, there's your, this is your auto check. Okay. No major title issues, no accidents, no damage. What else? Let's see, theft recovery. Um, no odometer brands or rollbacks or anything. Uh, born in Colorado, stolen 115 of 22. There's that, okay? So there you go, you got some nice mats on the floor here. Make sure I'm not locked out, I always do this to myself. That's why I leave one door open all the time when I do these videos. I'm the knucklehead who locks himself out of a car in the middle of a video. Uh, my brother pointed out that the uh, tr the uh, tint on this truck is very dark. So we're going to leave it alone because somebody may be able to get away with it. But I know in California, they're going to make you take that off. Obviously, maybe in Colorado, they don't. But uh, just there's a little, little rub mark right there. I mean, gosh, I'm looking for like nothing problems now. But... My job here is to tell you what I see. That way we end up with the right owner and the right car and happiness abounds. Okay, here's your window up and down and back up. Window up, down, there's that window, there's this window. All right, let's see what else we got. We got the cab light. See, I don't know how to use this thing. Oh, it's when the doors are open. Sorry. Gotcha. Gotta know how to use it. Got a lot of gas in it. 298 miles. Makes the guy want to make this his driver for the weekend. Let's see. Here's a sticker that's helpful. It says the next uh, oil change is due at 60... What is that? 63, 820. I think they meant 53. Because that can't be right. Oh, yeah, 63, 59,000. So they just had an oil change is what that means. So they just they just changed the oil. All right, that's nice. Let's see, what else? Uh, air conditioning, blowing ice cold. You got navigation. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Let's see. We are on Gardner Lane. There you go. Let's see. Turn that down so you can hear me. One remote. We got two remotes. going on there all right let's see what else there's a uh, cruise control right what else we got let's turn the radio on here Blake Shelton, God's country, right here. there's the steering on controls volume up and down You'll feel like changing Call xm xm1 Blah, blah, that's all changing stations there, right? Why, not available Let's Canada. see, audio, Serious XS. source, for the best. FM, cell machine they use. there you go. Anyway, that's pretty simple stuff. You got all the lane avoidance and stuff is right here. Yep. Boom and boom, right? Let's see, what else we got? Parking sensors. Here's a USB end port right there. Blind spot monitoring, ECT power. Let's see. There's your back window. Okay. This is a nice truck, man. Holy cow. Here's your turn signals. Let's see. Windshield wipers. Let's see. What else we got up here? Oh, you can change the the uh, transmission, I guess, the MTS. What do we got going? Oh, this is for uh, hill climbing and all kinds of cool stuff. I'm not gonna mess with that stuff because it takes too long to demo, but whoever sees this will know. You got locking diff, right? See that? Boom. That's from this button. All right. And then you got 
that's the uh, traction off traction control is off I put it back on all right let's put it into neutral and then we're gonna go let's see how do we do this oh we go like this four high is there put it in drive now we're in four high and reverse in four high there's your backup camera right okay neutral and then now we're going to what oh i went the wrong way now we're going to four low go to four low now we're in four low yeah that's definitely four low what's well, a nice truck okay and then backward reverse boom then we're gonna go let's see now we're in two-wheel drive back to two-wheel drive all right but it's a pretty truck and i'm turning up the fan a little bit it's freaking hot and muggy and it's gonna pour again tonight yesterday we got an inch of rain and it was hotter than crap until it rained today is going to be worse i think the more sun you get in tucson in july the worse it rains there's mexico right there see how black it's getting over there here it comes anyway if you come to drive this beautiful truck home you're going to pay the following you're going to pay your state tax rate whatever that is could be zero could be eight could be ten whatever your state tax rate is plus our city our local city tax of 2.7 percent and a 250 dollars dock fee if you pay by wire and ship this truck out of state all you pay is grid upon price so no tax no dock fee nothing if you're going to do that once we receive full payment we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address we will sign it off to you we will scan it into your online file and we will mail it to you we even scan in the envelope we mail it in so you'll be able to see everything every bit of paperwork the whole way okay you will have the truck shipped to you the title will already be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up. When he shows up with the truck, take the truck and the title and go get plates. Real simple. If you need help with shipping, let me know early in the transaction. I can do it for you. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle so you make one payment. Um, you're welcome to do the shipping yourself. If you need some phone numbers uh, or just a little help, I can do that. Um, or you're welcome to do it yourself. We have Kyle uh, in uh, San Diego who's on car number 12 or 13 or something. Um, he's found a way of of buying a vehicle from us getting it paid for and then uh <laughs> having it shipped before we know it's sold i mean it's like wow he's really good at it now he doesn't need us at all basically he should be working here um but it's not that hard but if you need help let me know okay deposits 500 dollars. once we have a deposit we have a deal until then it will stay for sale so please make sure you get your deposit in Last part of every video, I say the same thing every time. There's a little bit of an interesting part here, though. This thing has 800, well, about 750 miles of, of powertrain warranty on it. Not that it needs it, but it does. Um, tomorrow, it's going to go get that, uh, whatever that deal is with the third light in the cargo area dealt with. That's a recall. Um, but uh, it's a beautiful truck. But nonetheless, I have to say this. Uh, we don't have salesmen. So we don't have to pay commissions, that saves you money. We don't have a fancy location. You just saw the four wheel drive road we're on. I mean, it's the worst paved road in the country, I'm sure. Um, we don't have, you know, a lounge with an attendant serving scones and lattes and all that stuff. Uh, we don't have that stuff. So we don't have to make as much money. We don't have to ask you for as much money. It also helps a little bit in this case that it's uh, got theft history. However, it's still on a clear title, so it doesn't do a lot, but it does save you a little bit of money. It saved us a little bit of money. It still was pretty expensive. Um, Tacomas are the gold standard in the used car business, by the way. Um, everybody wants them, and they will pay for them dearly. Um, so that's that. Interesting. So I'm looking through the camera, and this thing looks like it's wiggling or something when it's not through the naked eye. So I think it has something to do with frame rate or something. My brother was telling me about he's like people see the video and the and it's wiggling and it's moving and they think something's wrong there's nothing wrong it's flat as heck and works great it's just the camera so anyway this is what i'm talking about with our road here by the way um look at that hole right there jesus christ no. guess who runs tucson guess which party runs tucson and which party runs scottsdale you're on the clock tick tock tick Talk. Okay, if you've ever been to Scottsdale, basically you're in one of the nicest cities in the country. Um, beautiful place. And then when you're in Tucson, you've got all this natural beauty and it's run by a bunch of boobs who can't figure out how to get out of their way. Um, and they're busy doing parades for trees and stuff like that. 
And if you're a big tree fan, I don't care. Uh, I'll say whatever I feel like saying. And that's just the noise of shit out of me. Anyway, look at that. It is getting really dark over here, which means it's three in the afternoon, which means probably five or so, we are gonna get crushed. And since we're gonna get crushed, this guy is gonna go inside. I don't wanna see anything bad happen to it. If we get hail or something, which can happen this time of year. Um, I think it's gonna go inside the garage tonight. This is, cause that'll make me mad. I don't really care. We have insurance for that type of thing, but I don't want to see this truck outside. That'll make me upset. The other ones can go. This one, not so much. Um, anyway, the bottom line, what I was getting to uh, was the fact that at the auto mall, when, when a vehicle breaks and they sell it, they already made, they, they charge you a fortune for it, uh, including five to $700 that's included for future repairs. If you come in bitching about something because you paid a billion dollars for the car, uh, you should get it fixed. So they fix it, and if they can't fix it, they'll just buy it back from you and sell it to somebody else. That's how they roll. We don't. We give you all the money up front. We give you the history, the receipts, everything we know so you can make a good decision and feel good about it and be the owner on day one because on day two even on even at five minutes on day one you're not getting a check from us if this button decides not to work you're not getting a check if the headlights decide not to work you're not getting a check if the radio decides not to work you're not getting a check um that's the way we roll because we have to we don't have um we don't have isn't that funny i'm looking through the screen it's like flipping I, and I'm looking at it with my bare eyes, and it's perfect. I look through the camera, and it's like an old TV going like that. Anyway, don't worry. <laughs> we really are on Gardner Lane, and this is fine. It's the camera. Um, but anyway, we just like people to know that that's how we roll. You can't have both. You can't have a great deal and all this honesty without being the owner on day one. If you want that, you got to go to the auto mall. Uh, now, this truck is badass. I love this truck. But... Again, I'm not Nostradamus. I don't know when something's going to decide to die, a break, whatever. Everything breaks. Um, this one does have a lot of, well, not a lot, but 800 miles of powertrain. So if something like transmission or motor or something went out, you'd be fine. That being said, that's not going to happen. These are Toyotas. Oh, wait, it's, it says it's 102. I would say it's more like 104, or 105, being a fourth generation Tucsonan, third generation Tucsonan. I would say that's probably off by two or three degrees if you care uh la, 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 la. is there anything else to show you here i'm allowed to have that much time thank you